Good morning. Welcome to worship on this third Sunday of Advent. Those of you who are here in the sanctuary, we welcome also those who are joining us on live stream this morning as we worship together. For those in the sanctuary, we would welcome you to fill out the worship slip that you'll see on the front of the bulletin this morning and invite you to put that in the offering plate as it goes by today. That gives us a chance to know who is worshiping with us and also to keep up with you if there are any needs or things that you need to refer to us. We'd love you to put that on those slips today. Uh, if you're here this morning or watching on live stream, we are in for a treat this morning because our Growing in Faith Together children are presenting their Christmas pageant today as part of our worship service. And so uh, we look forward to hearing their take on this gospel good news that Jesus is coming uh, to live and to be a part of this world. A couple of announcements to highlight. One is that the longest night service will be this Wednesday evening at 630 in the chapel. This shorter service is intended as a time of quiet and a time of reflection in this very busy season and perhaps uh, considering the last two years that we all are, have been through, you might uh, find this service to be meaningful. We invite you to come and be a part of that worship 6.30 in the chapel on Wednesday night. Also a reminder that next Sunday evening is our Chancel Choir special Christmas concert, What Sweeter Music?, there's more information about that in the bulletin. In addition to um, uh, finding tickets through Augustana Arts, we'd love to have you join us next Sunday evening for that special concert. And also a reminder that if you're joining us for Christmas Eve worship services, there are four services that day, and we are asking folks to register for those worship services just so that we can make sure that we have enough uh, space and that we have social distance for those times of worship together. More information about that that in the bulletin about how to register for those worship services as well. We're glad that you're here this morning and we invite you please to stand and take a minute to say hello to the folks who are around you today. We prepare our hearts for worship with our confession, and we hear God's good word of forgiveness this morning. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who inspires with wonders, who lifts up the lowly, who fills us with peace. Amen. Let us confess our sin, trusting in the tender mercy of God. God, for whom we wait, in the presence of one another, we confess our sin before you. We fail to believe that your good news is for us. We falter in our care of creation. We find our sense of self in material wealth. We fear those different from ourselves. We forget that we are your children and turn away from your love. Forgive us, Holy One, and assure us again of your transforming grace. Amen. God, in Christ Jesus, enfolds you in grace, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, your sins are forgiven. You are strengthened anew to follow in the way of peace. Amen.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Together we pray. Stir up the wills of your faithful people, Lord God, and open our ears to the preaching of John, that rejoicing in your salvation, we may bring forth the fruits of repentance through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. On this third Sunday of Advent, the theme of our scriptures and our worship is joy. The prophet Zephaniah envisions a time when God will make all things new. St. Paul writes about the joy he wants followers of Jesus to have, and John the Baptist proclaims how faithful lives can change the world. As we worship this morning, we share this joy and anticipation. We trust that Jesus has the power to change sadness to joy, bondage to freedom, and sin to forgiveness. Our candles from the last two Sundays remind us to stop and reflect during these days, preparing for Jesus' birth. The flame of this third candle encourages us to have the joy of Christ in our lives and to give that joy away to others. The first reading is from Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 through 20. 
Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exult over you with loud singing as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time. And I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you home at the time when I gather you. For I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. second reading is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And to the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? 
bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor, for I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the ax is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked John, what then should we do? In reply, he said to them, whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked John, teacher, what should we do? He said to them, collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, and we, what should we do? He said to them, do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation and be satisfied with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I'm not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear the threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations, John proclaimed the good news to the people. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. This morning, our message is brought to us by our Growing in Faith Together children, and we are going to be part of a wonderful pageant called A Super Christmas. connection with all of us. He says he loves the world so much he's going to give us his son. take our jobs. He might be here to help us as well as the rest of the world. I did see that man. You are awesome, but next time I think you could. Whoa, slow down guys. Let's focus on this new guy. We can share our glory stories later. Do we know when this new guy is supposed to show up? Do we know when this new guy is supposed to show up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Alice. 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 So, where's Lillian? Andrew. further. I'm sorry that every Holiday Inn was full, but I didn't know that we would be walking this late into the holiday season with a baby on the way. How did this happen again? Mary, God chose you for a reason, and he chose me for, as your husband for a reason, or at least that's what I keep telling myself. And he sure isn't hiding under anything. I'm tired of looking. Maybe he has a weakness like tuna or catnip or those little mice or those little balls of light that you can never catch. Wow, you guys are all my heroes. You save the world like every day. And you're right here, right now. Squeal, no. First of all, squirrel. Yes, I you know. Oh, my miss, I admit. Yes, I am due almost any day. It may even be tonight. Oh, there is nothing better than a baby. I hope we run into you again. I love to hold your baby. Me too. I love to rock babies to sleep. <laughs> shall be Jesus. Aww. Well, my feet are getting sore. I think we will give that man with the stable a try. Good luck with your search for this superhero. Uh, uh-huh.
Jesus, the Son of God, was born tonight. Rejoice, Emmanuel, the Savior of the universe, was born tonight here in Bethlehem. so that he could be forgiven of our sins. When we do bad things or make bad choices, we are sinning against God. Wow. When we sin, we are moving away from God. God loves us so much that he is willing to send his son Jesus. So, so even when we do sin, we are forgiven. It's called grace. Isn't that great? Wow, that Oh, don't worry. We know that congregation, too, and those crazy pastors, Ann and Caitlin. <laughs> relationship with God. Oh, he will be a way for us to see God and know that he loves us. So no matter how far we try to move away from God, Jesus will be there to remind us that God will never give up on us. But seriously, gonna move on. The star is right over there. and told us not to be afraid because Jesus was born. And he will bring us grace. Hold on, hold on. So Jesus is going to take my job? I still get to go out and save people? Of course you can still go save people, but God sent his son to be 
so we can de- so that we can be saved from ourselves and the sins we do. Jesus is reminding us of God's love and how we can share it with others. So now when you save people, you can tell them about Jesus is uh, Jesus the power and God's unending love. Whoa! Okay, I think I can do that. Stop right there, Mister. I will save you innocent citizens, but Jesus will save you with God's love. I like it. to our young people, to parents, and uh, special thanks to those adults who worked uh, to make that Christmas pageant possible today. And we invite you please to stand as we join in our prayers this morning. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Come, Lord Jesus, during this Advent season, may we turn our time and attention towards reflecting upon your ultimate gift of sending your Son into our midst. Keep us ever mindful of and in practice with his teachings, especially in bringing truth, peace, and love to whomever we meet. Hear us, O God. We pray for those living through natural disasters across the globe, including those suffering loss of life and devastation from the tornadoes in the southern United States, volcano volcano eruptions in Indonesia, flooding in Vietnam, and North American wildfires that never seem to extinguish. Guide us in prayers for the people and gift giving to the resources managed through the ELCA and other compassionate providers to bring comfort and assistance to allay their challenges. Hear us, O God. Father God, you have blessed us with the joy of children to celebrate within our congregation and our families. We are grateful for the spirit of laughter and love so freely shared through the innocence and wonder of youth. Help us to reflect and live in that joy as we ready ourselves to welcome Christ Jesus in this time of Advent. Hear us, O God. In remembrance of the invasion of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, 
We offer prayers for the family and friends of those lost on that day, as well as for the men and women who continue to protect our freedoms and serve our country today. Hear us, O oh God. Generous God, we are grateful for the staff of Augustana during this busy time. Bring them tranquil nights of sleep and bountiful wakeful energy so that they may help to bring in celebration the good news of Jesus' birth. We give you thanks for our leaders, companions, synods, and fellowship across the globe as we journey together, drawing on our diverse traditions and practices to focus on the coming of Jesus, the gift of salvation, and our unity in the body of Christ. Hear us, O oh God. Compassionate physician, we pray for strength, comfort, and mercy for those who are in need of hope and healing. John, Jim, Marty, Laura, Amy, Helma, and Bill. Hear us, O oh God. We pray also for consolation of the family and friends of those who have died. Kay Hitchum, Henrietta McConico, Jack Oxley, and Colleen Rickwist. Hear us, O oh God. Gentle and giving God, we ask that you hear and attend to our every prayer, spoken or silent, individual or communal, and that you will restore us, strengthen our faith, guide our lives, and help us respond to the needs and challenges in our communities and around the world through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Please take a moment to share a sign of Christ's peace with those around you.
God of our waiting and watching, we offer the gifts of our hearts and our lives to the service of all your people. Prepare the way before us as we meet you in this simple meal. Through Christ Jesus, our pathway and our peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. Holy One, the beginning and the end, the giver of life. Blessed are you for the birth of creation. Blessed are you in the darkness and in the light. Blessed are you for your promise to your people. Blessed are you in the prophet's hopes and dreams. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. Blessed are you for your son, Jesus, the word made flesh. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, Jesus took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. With this bread and cup, we remember your word dwelling among us full of grace and truth. We remember our new birth in his death and resurrection. We look with hope for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, we long for your spirit. Come among us, bless this meal. May your word take flesh in us. Come, Holy Spirit. All praise and glory are yours, Holy Trinity, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
This is Christ's table set for one and for all people. You are here or you are worshiping with us on live stream and you are welcome at Holy Communion today. If you're worshiping with us on live stream, we invite you to have bread or cracker and wine or juice to celebrate with the words, this is the body of Christ given for you and this is the blood of Christ shed for you. If you're joining us here in the sanctuary or as you're joining us here in the sanctuary, you'll be invited forward by the ushers. You'll receive a wafer as bread and then may choose the dark liquid of wine or the light liquid of, gra of grape juice and then place the cups in the baskets and return the, down the side aisles to your seats. You may be seated as we sing the Lamb of God together.
Please stand as you're able. May the body and blood of Christ Jesus our Lord strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Amen. Most high God, you have come among us at this table. By the Spirit's power, make us hearers of your word, sharing your gifts of mercy and grace with all through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ Jesus, for whom we wait. Amen. Thank you, ladies.